This is the Chemistry for Biology channel. Hi, I'm John Irwin, and we're talking about Zinc-15. This work comes to you from the University of California, San Francisco, Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry, the Irwin Lab, and the Shoiket Lab. And this work is supported by the National Institutes of Health. Today's episode is about gene annotations in zinc. Well, let's go back and talk about what zinc is. Zinc intersects biologically annotated compounds, compounds known to bind biological targets, for example, by Kemble or from Drug Bank. And it intersects those same molecules with all the molecules you can buy, commercially available from 230 vendors. There's over 100 million compounds you can buy right now. And what kind of biological annotations are we talking about? Well, there are 15 major target classes. These would include things like ion channels and membrane receptors, nuclear receptors, and so on. There are 42 subclasses of these 15 major classes. This might include, for example, GPCR class A, or voltage-gated ion channels. And then there are 3,169 genes spread among these, classified by these major and minor subclasses. 4,718 orthologs. So these are species-specific annotations. So for example, DRD2 rat, DRD2 mouse, and DRD2 human are three different orthologs that are accounted for by a single gene, DRD2. And there's four kingdoms, eukaryotic, bacterial, archaeal, and viral. So, as of December 2015, we're using Kemble 20. We're expecting Kemble 21 to appear any day now, and when it occurs, when it appears, we will load it and reprocess everything. The numbers will change, and so on. Uh, before I get to the live demo, I'd like to draw your attention to a paper we've recently published. It's called Zinc 15 Ligand Discovery for Everyone, and you can find it for free to download at JCIM. So, let's get started with a live demo. I'm at zinc15.docking.org, and this time we're going to go under the biological menu. And here I'd like to draw your, your attention to the uh, different resources that are available. Organisms, so organizing things by eukaryotics, prokaryotic, and so on. Major target classes, of which there are 15. Minor target classes, of which there are 42 genes, of which there are 3,100-odd, and orthologs. Okay, so let's start with, let's just do one at a time, shall we? So under organisms, normally by default you're taken into the home page, but if we go into browse, then you can see that there are the uh, eukaryotic, that's the one that m most of us are probably interested in, of which the eukaryotic uh, kingdom contains this many genes, this many orthologs, this many independent observations of compounds. So this is compound target associations, this many different substances, and of which this many are purchasable. So notice it's a small fraction, less than 10%. And we've also made predictions. So more about that in a separate video. Each of these, as you come to expect in zinc, is a clickable link. So if you want to ask, well, show me all the genes, all the eukaryotic genes, all you need to do is click on this link, and it takes you to a table of all the eukaryotic genes, of which there are 2737. Similarly, if you want to see what are the orthologs for these eukaryotic genes, you simply click on the list of orthologs, and now it takes you and it shows you that this is the you see that there's underscore human, underscore bovine, underscore mouse, and so on. And each of these is a link. And in turn, each of the observations is a link. So all these things are clickable. So if we click on this, this is the, these are, we're now inside orthologs, FTO human observations. So we've already jumped to here, the observations uh, resource. So now you can see how and now here we are in the orthologs resource, and here we are in the organisms resource. So as you can see, zinc has all these different objects, and they're all linked together. And, and I hope that by showing you this, you can begin to see 
uh, sort of how it's laid out, and there's really no substitute for just playing around with it. So if we now start at major target classes here, and again, we'll just do browse. Now you can see that there are, for example, under ion channels, there are three subclasses of ion channels, 147 genes, and 233 orthologs, 22,000 observations of 14,000 substances, of which only 1,332 are purchasable, and but we've got many, many predictions of these compounds. So let's go in and just look at the different ion channel subclasses. So there's ligand-gated ion channel, voltage-gated ion channel, and other ion channels. And each of these accounts for a certain number of genes, orthologs, and observations. You'll see how we are in major classes, ion channel, subclasses. And now if we go into genes, now we're in ligand-gated ion channels, genes. And now you can see individual genes. This is the 5-HT, 5-HT3A gene of which there are four orthologs, 647 observations. So if you go into the orthologs, you can pull out just the human one, and you can see that there's 472 of, of these are human observations. So this is now orthologs, 5-HT3A human observations, shows you the individual compounds, shows you the paper, and shows you the navigation of where you are. So. Um, and where we really hope that you'll find this useful. We think it's a nice way of looking at the data. In each case, you get a count of the number of observations that there are. Let's jump back to the highest level under minor target classes, target subclasses. And now we're looking here. So instead of being at the level of just membrane proteins, uh, for example, or, or epigenetic regulators, me membrane receptors, you can see GPCRAs are broken out separately from GPCRB, GPCRC, and GPCRF. There's only one GPCRF gene. What is it? I'll bet you it's smoothened. Let's have a look. It's smoothened. There you go. And there's only two orthologs, very thin on the ground, the smoothened homolog from human and mouse. How many observations are there? 635 observations against the human smoothened uh, gene. Well, here they are. And, here's all, here, and here are all the papers where the compounds are reported, the PKIs, the ligand deficiencies, everything you need to know. Everything, of course, is downloadable. Um, as always, all the zinc pages always, always the same, so you need the molecules in TXT format, do it. You need the molecules in SDF format, do it. Just download them, it'll download the values. You can load it up into um, Osiris Data Warrior, for instance, and you're off to the races. I'm gonna do that again. Here we are, we're inside genes. We're going to browse inside genes. Again, it's always the same. You can see the kingdom it belongs to, the uh, subclass, number of orthologs, number of observations. Everything's clickable. Everything turns into a URL. You click on the number of substances, genes, da 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 da, gene name, substances. It's all very logical. You want to download it, you download it like that. Finally, orthologs. These are, remember, remember, at the individual gene level, and they correspond to the original annotations in Kemble. So here we are. Now you can break out individual um, things against rat and mouse and so on. And uh, there's more. There's lots more. But I hope that that's given you some taste of, of what uh, zinc offers in terms of biological annotations. We've just taken Kemble annotations and we've organized them in our own particular zinc way. Was that helpful? If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook or Twitter. This work is supported by the NIH.